This US F-15 fighter plane came down near Benghazi, apparently due to a mechanical problem. Thankfully, the two crew members ejected and are said to be safe. But America won't like seeing its military hardware smoldering in another Middle Eastern country. Especially as, so far, Gaddafi seems defiant in the face of coalition airstrikes. His forces have reportedly attacked the rebel-held city of Misrata. This amateur video appears to show shelled buildings and bullet-ridden cars. Despite the coalition bombardment on Gaddafi's positions, the rebels are yet to take advantage. Some, regrouping here outside Ajdabiya, were forced to scatter by the regime's artillery. But the coalition says its actions have protected civilians in Benghazi. Colonel Gaddafi vowed that his men will be going from house to house, room to room, to burn out the opposition. Libyan troops were reportedly committing atrocities in outlying areas of the city. The military intervention to enforce UNSCR 1973 has stopped that attack in its tracks. Major General Lorimer went on to show images suggesting that a rebel-held mosque in Zawiya had been laid to waste by Gaddafi's army. After Colonel Gaddafi's forces seized control of the town, the mosque was razed to the ground. But authorities in Tripoli continue to deny they're killing their own. Why is it that instead of checking facts, they are rocketing us every night? Your spokesman for the Minister of Defense is saying that we killed many people in Azawiya. How does he know that? Where is the proof? Well, two weeks ago, Sky News reported from that very mosque in Zawiya and witnessed the attack by government forces. and the resulting casualties. <laughs> Libya's authorities also say this port, bombed by coalition forces last night, was partly a civilian area, although we've seen it housed military equipment, and we've been given no evidence of civilian casualties. Still, questions remain over how the no-fly zone operation should proceed. President Obama is keen to hand over U.S. command, but to whom? We'll be uh, discussing that again with our allies and the Foreign Secretary and I will be having ongoing discussions with them uh, over the coming days. That's what we'd, be, we'd expect to be doing at this stage. And finally, is Gaddafi a legitimate target in uh, Libya? Uh, we dealt with all of that and the Prime Minister made the, his view on that very clear in the House of last night. But as British jets continue to take off on missions over Libya, that remains a significant question. Toppling Gaddafi is not part of the UN remit, but as long as he's still in power, it's unclear how this operation will come to its conclusion. Jason Farrell, Sky News.